God brought you through, now it's time for you to go tell someone else about that same God that they can make it. As I'm up, and it's like 1.30 in the morning, the Lord woke me up. I've been studying the book of 2 Corinthians. I wanted to read this. This is chapter 1, uh, verses 8 through 11. This is the New Living Translation. We think you ought to know, this is Paul talking to the Corinthian church. We think you ought to know, dear brothers and sisters, about the trouble we went through in the province of Asia. We were crushed and overwhelmed beyond our ability to endure. And we thought we would never live through it. In fact, we expected to die. But as a result, we stopped relying on ourselves and learned to rely only on God who raises the dead. And he did rescue us from mortal danger and he would rescue us again. We have placed our confidence in him and he will continue to rescue us. And you are helping us by praying for us. Then many people will give thanks because God has graciously answered so many prayers for our safety. I wanted to share that because sometimes it seemed like that thing be so hard. It's so perplexing. It hurt the pain just going through it, the frustration. It looks like that the enemy is going to overtake you. But here in the scripture, as Paul told the people that he had to learn to let go of his own abilities. He had to let go of what he wasn't capable of and learn to give it to God because the God that brought them out before is the same God that will bring you out again. Be encouraged. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We glorify you. We honor you, O oh God. Father, we thank you that we can just come boldly before your throne of grace, O oh God. Asking anything in your name, O oh God. And Father, that you will hear our prayers, God. As our prayers are sort of pure heart and pure thought, God, as we come. God, for the God of comfort, that you would comfort us with your word, oh God. And Father, we thank you, God, that when life gets overwhelming, oh God, and it seems like uh, things are going to overtake us, we thank you that your word reaffirms us, oh God, that just as you did it before, you would do it again. And God, we thank you, oh God. That that thing that we thought would take us out, God, you came in and you rescued us. And Father, your word says that when the enemy comes in like a flood, that the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against them. So we thank you for covering us and keeping us and shielding us, oh God, and loving us, oh God, and bringing us through every situation. So give us the strength. Give us the faith. Give us the peace to overcome it. God, we thank you that today, God, we're giving it to you. We're relying on you. We're not relying on ourselves, of our own strength, God, because we can't handle it. We can't do it. We thank you, oh God, for bringing your people through. God, we thank you for the blood, oh God. We thank you for our family, our friends, oh God. And God, we just wanted to come to love on you and to tell you thank you. And God, that our prayers, you hear us. And we won't stop praying, God, because you're the God that answered prayers.